All right, YouTube, we're going to play something different today. This is what I'm thinking about playing for the Grand Prix upcoming. I've been practicing quite a bit, and I've had a couple people help me out. Um, <coughs> should I have <talk> those? <laughs> not going not gonna to do that, Johnny. But I've been working, um, working on this deck for a little while. Um, and I just want to give it a whirl here. I don't know if I'm actually going to main deck this Ether Grid, or I'm going to do a second Pyrite Spellbomb. The Ether Grid is kind of like a way to combo as well, but it, it's good against humans and stuff. But I think this was in my friend suggested this to me while I was learning the deck to play this because it'll be a way to help out. So no guarantee on how things are going to work tonight on Moto, as this deck is a little annoying to stream, but we're going to give this a whirl tonight. How are you doing today, Johnny? I'm already in a league. Yeah, this deck's a little obnoxious to stream, so I'm going to try to, like, articulate and do some stuff right, because it doesn't really matter. You're so po you're so you're so positive with all your great language, Johnny. So we're gonna give this a whirl. I've liked I've liked this deck. Um I think it's actually not as hard to play once you figure it out. The learning curve is kind of steep, but I've started getting it. What a fucking hard this weekend. Everybody's working for the weekend. But we're going to see how this goes. Ugh. Wow, no one they didn't want to play against me the first time. The nice thing about is that most people have been pretty nice and they have conceded once I put the loop on. Um, but once I put the loop on, but they don't always concede. And then depending on how I feel, sometimes I just scoop the game and go to the next one because I just don't want to click through something 47 times, which is annoying. It's kind of dumb that Moto can't recognize a loop. But, you know, what are you going to do? All right, looks like we're going here. I have to restart Moto in between every fucking match. All right, we're on a play. Sweet. Um, this hand is not that great, but I don't think you ship this one back. You've got an Ironworks. We got a couple can trips. I'm gonna start by stirrings because I know what I'm like. I'm basically looking for like a wellspring, a ma. Or a mine stone or a scrap trawler. Alright, well, there's the trawler, so let's just take the trawler. And hopefully, it's just curve. Bloodstained Mire. This hand's not very good against Bloodstained Mire. Though, scrap trawler itself is very good against Bloodstained Mire decks. So, they're playing against Jund. It's a pretty solid matchup, I think. I just don't think the giant like this deck just creates a lot of value. My hand's not that good, so we could get in trouble, but I think this is pretty solid. Alright, well it's not. Um turn off turn off all the yields. I don't want to yield yet. I want to I think I want to crack this. We're not that close to a mox level anyways. We might hit something good for this, so. All right. All right. Swing and a miss. It's nice. So a wellspring here would be sweet. All right. A mox is. Mox is not really. Doesn't really do anything, but I'm just going to play it. I could 
crack this. I probably should have cracked this, but I kind of wanted to leave it in play for the ironworks, and I'm not likely doing anything, and I could get more stuff discarded. So that was my idea behind that, but there's also not that much that I could, couldn't play if I would have hit that. All right, Liliana's okay. We're just going to discard this forest. With Liliana being the draw, we likely will just play Ironworks and pass. Yeah, there's not really... I think I would rather wait to go off next turn where I can bury Ruin back my Scrap Trawler. Because if I get a bunch of cards in my hand and I can't kill my opponent, which is pretty unlikely, then I'm not going to be... like. They're gonna. This Liliana is gonna do more work against me. So it's a little bit of a K Commander, a Maelstrom Pulse. All right. So we should be good this turn. All right. Well, let's start off with this because we might just hit a Scrap Trawler. Chromatic Star is better than Terrarian. So let's get... So what are we going to do? We're going to go Sack, Sack. If I bring these back, Sack this. Bring back Scrap Trawler. Sack this to get Scrap Trawler into play. Sack this for mana, sack this. Yeah, so we're gonna get scrap. We're gonna get old scrappy T. Cause it's gonna it's gonna accrue some value. Sack this. Sack this draw card. Alright, another scrap trawler is not bad. Another scrap trawler is actually pretty great. Because it's going to let us go, like, sack another Scrap Trawler get something back. So let's get back the Opal. It's the only thing we can get back. Draw a card. If he hits this Scrap Trawler, we'll sack the Scrap Trawler. Get back another Chromatic Star. Probably just lets that happen. Okay. Uh, it's good to get this into play to have our Scrap Trawlers in, like, the most Scrap Trawlers in play before you start sacking anything. Question is, do I want to sack a scrap trawler? I probably do. Because then I get back two stars. I might as well just see what I hit off of this before I do that. Because I'm going to sack this no matter what. This gets back Mox Opal. Gets back Darks. I don't know if I've made a land drop this turn or not. Always yield. Always yield. I had made a land drop. All right, let's sack Scrap Trawler. Get back. I shouldn't have played that land, by the way. That was a mistake. Because I could hit like a. Um, I could have hit something like a. Like the land that lets me uh, go tutor through my deck. You should always like wait to play your lands. No, I don't want to sack the Ironworks. No, I don't want to sack. Oh, man. So we're kind of bottlenecking here. Which isn't great. We missed out on two mana there, but that's kind of an operations thing. Get back this opal. Okay, so we didn't see, now we made a mistake, so we'd be able to win the game here if I hadn't played this land. As it turns out, we're probably just going to sack this, get something back, and then pass. So yeah, I made a mistake already. I shouldn't have played my land. Because <clears throat> we'd have hit off the Inventor's Fair. Inventor's Fair would have gone and gotten Mirror Retriever, would have sacked Mirror Retriever, gotten back Chromatic Star, Scrap Trawler, and then... Play the Scrab Trawler, sack the Scrab Trawler, get back Mirror Terrarian. 
Now things are going to be a little harder, but nothing too, too terrible. As soon as, as soon as we have Ironworks in play, it's just like, it's much easier. I did make it hard on myself by missequencing with this uh, Inventor's Fair, but it's not like we're under any pressure anyways. So, I could go get Scrap Trawler. That doesn't do anything. So I might as well just wait and look to hit something next turn. Because there's, there's not much that I can do. And if he kills my Ironworks, then I can just go get another Ironworks. We did really brick on, on that. But I punted. Like, the game would have been over if I'd had a Scrap Trawler 9 mana in an Inventor's Fair. Uh, yield until next end step. Discard just the Dark Steel Citadel. Oh, they're Jun Shadow. This is Jun Shadow, not because they have Battle Rage. Okay. All right, well, let's go get a Scrap Trawler. And do we want a scrap trawler or do we want a mirror retriever? Sack mirror retriever, get back scrap trawler. We're not really doing anything. We could just get an engineer explosives for three and pop this Liliana. I kind of don't hate that because my opponent doesn't have anything going on. It's either get EE, -E, pop it, but then. And then we have EE in our graveyard, which is a good place for it. We could get Mirror Retriever. Sack Mirror Retriever, make mana, get back, scrap trawler. If we hit something, then we can hopefully get the combo. Getting strap trawler is likely the best because it just guarantees another card. And if we hit something sweet off of this, then we should be able to go off. Or at least accrue a lot of value. All right. So let's put this in play first before we do anything. Sack this opal. Make mana. Play scrap trawler. Get the opal back and draw a card. All right, buried ruins pretty solid. Because buried ruin lets us go get a scrap trawler. And then once we have two scrap trawlers, we should be in okay shape. We've used our land drop, which is worth. Noting. Play this. Make mana. Play this. We're going to sack a scrap trawler. We're going to get back chromatic star and chromatic star. Use the colorless. Sack this, get back Mox Opal. All right, we hit a KCI, which is sweet, because now, sack this. We might as well just do this one more time. Actually, there's no need to, because we're going to get a second Scrap Trawler, so anything that we want to do, we should wait. Then we just go down the chain again. Scrap Trawler gets back Scrap Trawler. Play this. So we get. So mana is not the issue anymore, which is just nice not to think about. No, hang on. I should play the star first, then play the Scrap Trawler. Sack this, get back. Hopefully we hit off of this. If we don't, we'll just sack the scrap trawler and we'll just keep going down the train. Get Mox Opal. Get Mox Opal. EE. -E. Alright, EE is not bad. So now we're just gonna get back two chromatic stars. If I was gonna be cor like a correct thing to do be to like sack both my mox opals before each one of these but I'm just not going to do that for clicks 
I am going to sack one of them though. Get back Mox Opal. All right. So let's sack the Mox Opal again, make blue mana. So, like, at worst, we're going to get rid of this Liliana this turn. I have another Chromatic Star in my graveyard, so I don't need to play that one yet. Star, get back. Scratch all get back. Star. Draw a card. Play this. We're just kind of fit. We need a Mirror Retriever now, and we've got it. As soon as we find a retriever, we, we're good. Whether my opponent scoops to that or not, that's a whole other thing. <clears throat> Probably going to time out of this game, of this match, unless the second ones go swimmingly. Back Mox Opal. Get this back. Draw another card. Get back Mox Opal. Okay, so we probably should just deal with the Liliana. If we had a Mirror Retriever here, we'd be in wicked shape, but we have kind of bricked. So, I cancel. I want to do this using red, green, blue. We could sack the ironworks. Okay, done. To keep going here, but that's kind of risky. Scrap trawler gets back Mindstone. Let's just play our Mindstone. Play our opal. It might have been right there to like sack the ironworks to keep to keep everything going, but without a mirror retriever, it's a little difficult. And if we find a mirror retriever, we can kill the mirror retriever with this explosives. So now I believe my opponent has delirium now. Yeah, they were just waiting on delirium, so they're probably gonna get like traverse a lot of traverses coming here. It was probably a kill there somewhere, but we got Tarn of Life. It's a, probably a huge Tarn of Life. Yeah. I guess I also could have drawn a card. All right, let's crack this. Draw first. Okay, so there's Mirror Retriever. So Mirror Retriever gets back Scrap Trawler. Mirror Trigger gets back Scrab Trawler. When Scrab Trawler's in play, we can then do the cost trick to sack Scrap Trawler. I'm going to have to figure this out as I go. Play this. Get this in play. Second artifact. Blow this up. Get rid of that. Mirror Retriever. It's back Scrap Trawler. It's kind of convoluted now. Like, we just need, like, one more way to get there. So we're going to play this. You know, cancel here. Float mana. Play this. Float again. Cast the scrap trawler. Let's 
two green floating. No, hang on. Sack this. This is going to give me back a one. So we're going to get back Chromatic Star. Draw another card. Engineer Explosives. So it's going to give me back uh, Opal. Skips back. Mox Opal. Now I could sack. I could sack the KCI to get back the Mirror Retriever. The problem with that. The problem with doing that is that I don't have another iron. So I need another Ironworks or a Retriever. And I'm good. I really don't want to sack the KCI until I have that. Because that just leaves me pretty vulnerable. Back on the Mox. Ether grid is like decent. So now I can just sack the ironworks to get back mirror retriever. But that doesn't do anything for me. We have somewhat fizzled here. Well, it's kind of been an odd draw. I'm just gonna play this out and then pass the turn. <coughs> I could be doing this all wrong, but I, I just I don't know if I haven't seen a way I haven't seen a way to get the mirror retriever back into play with the scrap trawler at the same time. Okay, so this is just gonna get back mirror retriever, which the mirror retriever is just gonna get back what I need. I need like a second mirror retriever. Or another ironworks, and then I'm in good shape. I should have pinged my opponent for one there. Just gonna play this out. Then pass. I guess I can start, even though they're a death shadow deck, I guess I can start pinging them with the ether grid. It's like a really sad way to win. I could have gone, I guess I should have gone. Ping, sack, get back, ping again. Just missed a point of damage. Oh, I auto yielded. Let me put an end stop on their end step. All right, well, now we're going to go for it. We're going to sack this. I should have pinged. I'm worried about my time now. I should have played the sphere first. Now I have to sack this one for mana. Can't sack a 2 KCI because that's not how the card works. All right, there's the second scrap trawler, which should do it for me. Now that we've got the mirror retriever in the graveyard, this gets back. Mirror Retriever, this gets back a one. And we have a Chromatic Sphere. Okay, so. So, this is a little odd because, well, I can actually just announce the Engineer Explosives. Okay, so now we go like this. We use the ironworks to sack this, sack this, sack this. And I really hope my opponent just concedes to this so I don't have to do the ether grid click, especially considering like I, oh no, I don't want to. Control Z, done. Mirror Retriever gets back Scrap Trawler. Scrap Trawler gets back Mox Opal. Scrap Trawler gets back Chromatic Sphere. Scrap Trawler gets back Mirror Retriever. 
and then all these come back, we yield to this, and there it is. So I guess my, it looks like my opponent's going to make me do it out. So here comes the kick clicking aspect of your viewing pleasure. So now we just go. Yeah, there they go. And they scoop it out. So that was kind of odd. And I, I'm not, I'd have to look back through there if I missed like some kind of, uh, if I missed, um, if I missed some way to get my scrap trawler back, then that will be the interesting aspect of it. So we just go like this. It's pretty easy sideboard and sideboard out. Get this, and then cut a mine stone, and then we submit. Yeah, because I, I kept getting like, I didn't have two scrap trawlers in play while I had a mirror retriever, and I'd never had a mirror retriever in play while I could have a scrap trawler unless I sacked the KCI, which I think is kind of risky. Like to take KCI off the table is usually always kind of kind of sketchy. Especially against a deck that's like as disruptive as Death Shadow is. It's much safer in play. Um, I really don't want a mulligan in this hand. If I find an artifact or a land, it's pretty good. And I don't want a mulligan against the Thoughtseize deck unless I have to. So this hand's risky, but if I find a land or another artifact, then I mean, I probably need, I need a land. A land or another artifact if I want to use this as just like a mana rock, and then I'm in good shape. Nazis. Probably take Scrap Trawler. I do have to play quickly now, but hopefully I just have to win game two. It gets much easier to win after sideboard when you get Psy in your deck. It's like Psy and Karn are pretty heavy hitters. I wish you could find Karn off of um, the Tudor Land. I think I'm going to watch that second game over because I'm fairly certain there was some, probably some loop that I missed. Like, there must have been a way to get, get it back. It takes a mirror retriever. All right, Terrarian is just what the doctor ordered. Not quite, but... Just get these in play. I need one more. I need an artifact or land next turn, or I can just play this explosives for zero. I don't really want to do that if I don't have to. I think he would have taken the EE. Yeah, the EE kind of enables my hand. There are three deuce. Decays my opal. I guess that kind of makes sense. All right. Better lucky than good. So now we're just going to play this out here for zero to turn on our mox opal. Then our cards are kind of on the table here. The nice thing about this is that we can set up kind of like a scrap trawler mirror retriever like block party. I don't get delirium, so they can go something like Traverse Double Shadow if they've got it, which could be kind of sketchy. All right, they can play Single Shadow also. And Nile Spellbomb. Spellbomb's going to make things a little harder, especially now that my E's in the already in play. All right, well, that was decent. I really don't want to play this unless I have something to do with it. I guess I could just like sack this, play scrap, trawler, block, block, get back opal. Yeah, that makes sense. I don't really don't want to play this unless I draw like another mox. But if I sack this with this 
without scribe trawler, it's much worse. I think I'm just gonna sack this now. See what I draw. We're gonna go green, blue. We just hit a terrarium. All right, we're just gonna cast this scrap trawler. Or I could just cast the Psy and not block. He does not doesn't have a lot of ways to kill Psy. So I think we're just gonna cast the Psy, not block. Like the only cards he has that kill this are like Fatal Push with Revolt, which he has to do on his turn unless he doesn't want to draw a card. And like if I get Psy in play, it just blocks forever. There's definitely a chance that he boarded out Team of Battle Rage. Okay, that's not bad. That means our scrap trawler in the future is going to get something back probably when it dies. So I'm going to dismember would be pretty awful for the home team here. I think they could. They could just push this and then I could die. Oh, they're going to. So they probably take scrap trawler. <clears throat> I think it's within, like, I think any deck with Death Shadow in it could play, yeah, could play, like, Dismember and not be faulted. <coughs> I know sometimes they don't because it's just less explosive. So this Psy is going to, like, put a hurt on our opponent. I mean, we're just, like, super dead to Battle Rage next turn. But, like, I don't think we're actually, I don't think we're legitimately going to beat Battle Rage really at any point. Okay. That's really good. Always yield. Always yield. Oh. Just draws a card. We're probably going to attack with our Psy, honestly. What do we got here? We have a Colorgon's Command of some sort. Oh, if this is a Colorgon's Command, I definitely muffed up by not leaving up blue mana. Okay, so we're going to just make mana with this. This is good. This resolves. We're going to play this one. I think we're going to pass because I can cantrip next turn. And because, like, theoretically, he could kill me without Battle Rage. Like, if he has, like, Dismember on one of these, then it's exactly 12. So I think we're just going to pass and then just start to accrue like a really big advantage with Psy. These Nihil spell bombs have been underwhelming. We're just going to chump because you know, we're not beating Battle Rage. So All right, let's cast this first. We're going to make red-green. Probably not at this point. We're not looking to keep up blue mana. I should have played my land to keep up there. That was another punt. Not doing this super well. Ooh, that's pretty good. Play this for one. Get a side token. Crack this, and then get in, and then we should be able to finish this game out pretty quickly with Ether Grid. Or just Psy, like beats by Psy. Having Psy in the sideboard makes these, like, it's so nice, especially on Moto, because it gives you, like, another actual, like, decent way to win that doesn't take forever. 
and we gain a life, which is sweet. All right, we can cast our Icker Boy. Get a side token. Always yield. Get one of these. I could have played this, sacked it, and then done it. Just too much value. Now he needs like a sweeper and something else to kill Psy. And if he does that, we just have the ether grid. Well, it's scary there for a little while. My opponent also had a pretty weak draw in game one. I think if my opponent had a reasonable draw, they would have gotten me. Anger plus. Traverse. Well, we're just going to go play our ether grid and smoke you. They were smart. They, boy, they were ready for Psy. But we're just going to cast this and there we go. Oh no, Moto's already tweaking out. We've only played one match. I'm going to restart Moto here. I appreciate everybody for showing up and hanging out tonight. Uh, my name is Dylan Hubby. I'm a part of the Card Hoarder Network. Um, if you guys like what you see, please hit the follow button. If you're watching this on YouTube, head on over to Twitch and um, check me out there. Uh, if you're on Twitch, you can look below because all my YouTube content is linked there as well. <clears throat> it's my first time playing Ironworks on stream, so be gentle. It's probably going to be a little difficult, but but that's what we got going on tonight. I think I'm, I think I'm going to play this the Grand Prix. If we get bored of this deck, we like after another league, we might just um, play some Legacy Cube. I like Legacy Cube better than Vintage Cube. For the record, I'm gonna grab some water. Put it back on the stream here. That would have shut off. The yeah. Come on, big boy. Yeah, I think I had to play the EE for zero there just to enable what I was what was going on. But it definitely always feels bad against to like play your EE out there. And that's why this deck's really good, I think. Is that like if you think about it, like that Death Shadow deck, that Death Shadow deck should be a really hard matchup. Like, it's got disruption. Some of them have counter spells. That one didn't. Um, it's got disruption. It's got a clock, and it's got like it's got all kinds. Of, it's got removal and discard, and you can still handle it. So I think that's why I think that's why I, I really like this deck. I usually play a lot of Death Shadow, and even like I, I play Grixis Death Shadow, and you had counter spells into it. It still gets it's still a little dicey playing against Ironworks. I tend to respect Ironworks a lot and play Leyline in my sideboard though. Yep, we're going to keep this hand. This is uh, turn three Ironworks. Yeah. Play the Terrarian. Play the Mox. This, this is actually a nut start here. We need to hit one more land. And if we do that, then we play... Oh my god, I have a crick in my neck. We play Ironworks on three... This is where we get our Ironworks Thoughtseize now. Oh no, Ancient Stirrings. Overgrown Tomb Ancient Stirrings. Is this like, uh, oh, it's Tron? It's Tron with, an, it's Tron with Overgrown. That's Overgrown Tomb. That's odd. Oh, we are 
Whatever it is, we are doing it. I'd like to write sort of a few locals. Nice. I play I play a lot of Grix of Shadow. We I'm not playing Grix of Shadow this weekend because you just you just can't get it to work with the unified oh Jesus with the unified format. So we actually get a look two looks at a land, but I'm not sure we'll go for it even if we find the land because we kind of have a low base. So like let's just try to hit our land drop here, but there's definitely like a non-zero chance. Oh, this doesn't matter. Okay. Green, green, our main deck. This gets back nothing. Let's just get this. Yeah, we're probably just going to play the Ironworks. So we could like mini go fishing here. Like I could sack this, sack this to draw a card. That's probably worth it. Get back Mox Opal. Let's always yield and always yield. Yeah, so we didn't really do anything with that, unfortunately. So let's just play this. We could sack Scrap Trawler because we have Buried Ruin. Yeah, I'm game for that. Let's just let's keep going here a little bit. We've got like we've got time. Let's just get back to Terrarium because it's the worst one. Oh, you're saying how this doesn't sack the sphere. Oh, this isn't. I always forget which one this is. Yeah, we'll definitely do that to end our turn because it's just free. I'm going to have. Actually, I don't really want to sack this without a scrap trawler in play. This is why I think I went too far. It doesn't really matter because we can just get the scrap trawler back. I almost don't even want to sack this. Yeah. I don't, I don't even think I want to sack this thing. I might have, I might have like, but like I shouldn't have sacked my scrap trawler if I didn't want to do that. All right, whatever. We, we sacked scrap trawler, so we're going to do this. I can just get my opal back next turn. All right, let's just do this. I guess it doesn't really matter because the EE is going to blow this up anyways. Now that we've chosen to do it like this. So we are just going to sack this. Always yield. Blow this up. And then we're just going to pass. Like, we definitely kind of handcuffed ourselves there, but, like, we have plenty of mana. Like, what we need is just, like, draws. We need to find, like, a mirror retrieval in good shape. Yeah, I don't think I should have sacked the trawler. Especially considering I wasn't under any pressure. So we played mine. All right, that's not bad. So we're not going to make our land drop until we have to, which might come sooner than I want to, but so let's get this back. I think we're actually just going to make our land drop, which is kind of kind of sucks. Yeah, so I had the scrap trawler in play, I'd be in such a better spot here. Yeah, I definitely I definitely muffed this up. Now I'm gonna have to use let's just use the EE for mana actually. Control Z. I don't really want to sacrifice my lands if I don't have to. So I still I have a one in the graveyard, so I could just sack this now. Yeah, E was zero, so yeah, yeah. Let's get back to Rarian. Oh shoot. 
I always forget that. Whatever. We're making we're making mana now, so we're okay. But I did just miss out on drawing a card. Scrap trawler gets back. Mox opal. Let's make mana with Mox opal. Sack the opal. Play this. I'm going to just turn my light on here. It's getting dark. Get the opal back. Okay. So this is where it gets a little tricky. Because I can go play Mirror Retriever. Sack Scrap Trawler. I can Sack Scrap Trawler. <clears throat> so I need to get back to where I am with a 1. So I kind of want to go Sack Scrap Trawler, get back Mindstone. Now I have to get, I have to somehow get an EE, and I have to get Trawler, Mirror Retriever, and Ironworks and play at the same time. Get back Mindstone plus Star with the Retriever. Keep going. That's most of the time, like, the best thing to do, to just get, like, the two-for-one. And we're going to remember to draw a card this time. So this gets back Star. This gets back Mindstone. We don't need a lot to win from here. We already have a one in the graveyard, so let's do this first. Get back to Rarian, draw a card. Okay, so that should do it. So let's get this here. Add red, sack this, get this back. Yeah, let's get back Mirror Retriever. Play this. All right, let's do the loop one time, and then we'll ask our opponent to concede. Appreciate it if you scoop, but you don't have to. So now, like, so let's get this here. Mirror Retriever gets back Scrap Trawler. Terrarian draws a card. Scrap Trawler gets back a zero. Gets back Mox Opal. Scrap Trawler gets back Terrarian. Scrap Trawler gets back Mirror Retriever. And that's just how we do it. Doesn't look like they're going to scoop, which sucks. I might just like scoop the game because I don't really want to deal with this. Might as well just use my green mana. Didn't find it. Not sure if you already did a full day, but the loop is really only use. Yeah, I know. That's why, like, it sucks to, like, I want to practice, but, like, you can't, like, doing the loop on Moto is awful, which is kind of stupid when you think about, like, from Magic Online's perspective, like, you know, the fact that Moto can't register a loop is pretty awful. Let me get back near Retriever. We do a most of the trawler, trawler, retriever, opal, spell bomb. Yeah, I mean, I'm already kind of figured that I'm going to time out now, but I could try to, like, win two sideboard games, but I would rather just do it right, I think. And if my opponent is going to be like this, then my opponent is going to be like this.
pay one mana. This gets back Scrap Trawler. We're having a lag out in the game. This gets back Mox Opal. Mox Opal gets back Chromatic Star. Chromatic Star gets back. Or th this gets back Rear Mirror Retriever. And we just do it all again. If you want to do it sooner or later, suggest that loop. So how do you do it? The way you do it in Moto is have Trawler, Trawler, Retriever, Opal, Spell Bomb. Okay, so I'm just going to find another Trawler for that one. Yeah, it'd be nice to know just because it is easier. Oh, there's the Spell Bomb. I just literally just milled over my Spell Bomb. I wasn't like thinking, I was thinking, I was so like looking for a Trawler. It's like now I've got to find my one stupid card. Yeah, so like this isn't even worth doing. I think I'm just, I almost just want to scoop this to just, to just try to get into sideboard games. Which is like the frustrating part of this deck. I'm going to turn some lights on. You need to see spell one before I can scoop. You can fizzle. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I couldn't fizzle from there. I just scooped in order. I just scooped because I accidentally put the spell bomb on the bottom. I draw the cards and have infinite mana. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, the nice thing about paper is you can just be like, like here, here's the loop here, repeat the loop 12 times, draw a card, you know? Uh, you need Trawler, Trawler, plus Spell Bomb on the battlefield, plus Trawler, plus Opal in Yard. Sacrifice Retriever, get back Trawler, plus Spell Bomb. Yeah, play those two, deal two damage, and get back Opal. Play Opal, tap for Red Sacket. Sacrifice the second Trawler to get back Retriever plus Spell Bomb, and you're back where you started. Okay, yeah. That makes sense. I'm going to have to see it. I'm going to have to see it be Temple to like know exactly how it's done. But like whatever, we're gonna call that like that's a game win for me. Like, it's not gonna count on Moto, but I'll know it like in my brain. All right, I would like to play first. We got a no land heater, and this hand's pretty good. We need like a second land on top, which that is. I'm not gonna. Uh, Expose my opal. They might ancient. They might like hit it with the star. So I probably won't play my opal until next turn, where I can like hit it with terrarian. Or not with star with nature's claim. Like that would probably be a loose nature's claim, but they still might do it, and it would kind of suck. It is kind of annoying how you have to do it. I, I, I mean, that's just annoying. That's how the deck works. One, two. So we could be in a little bit of trouble here. 
And I guess I could have gone digging there for more, but I don't really know what I'm digging for. What am I digging for here? I've got my ancient, my nature's claim. One, two. I guess what I should have done, I, I, I messed this up. Like, I should have been looking for a ironworks before I started doing stuff with my turn. Like... Like, staying even on mana, like sacking this Terrarian. Because if I would have hit an Ironworks, I likely could have at least done some damage. But my opponent goes, like, turn three, like, Karn hit my Inventor's Fair, that I'm in a little bit of trouble. I'm actually probably in way more than a little bit of trouble. Okay. This probably means like Ulamog next turn. One, two. All right, we're going to sack this. What am I looking for? If I sack all this stuff, I'm not, I don't even know what I'm looking for. One, two. Three, four. I think I'm just going to hold. I also don't want it to get Thought Not Seared. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I thought. We could just get Ulamogged here and then, like, cry. My opponent's my opponent is looking now. I can't cast the iron word. No, yeah, I can. I can cast the iron words next turn. This is a worm coil engine. World breaker. Alright. Well, that doesn't really do anything. I mean, I guess he couldn't really hit any of my lands. Because I would have just... Um, he couldn't hit anything, because I would have just... He could have hit the Wellspring. Ironworks. Okay. So I actually want to hit this before I play my scrap trawler, I think. So let's go. Let's go like this. Which one's the worst one? It's probably my Terrarian. It was actually probably it was the Mindstone for sure. I should have sacked the Mindstone because it's already tapped. So let's get this here. I think I'm actually going to make mana with this and hit this right now because I don't want, I want to like get this out of here before there's something that matters in my graveyard. With the second scrap trawler, I'm going to be able to like loop a bunch of stuff. It does suck that like now I, I should have definitely sacked the mine stone because that's the worst one. I, um, yeah, either Mindstone or, um, oh, shit. Clicked the wrong one. All right, well, that's okay. We're just going to make a land drop. Play this. Shoot this. Hey, I got to think about how to play around Surgical. That's not, that's, that's not going to be easy. So let's play this, make mana, sack our wellspring, sack this, sack wellspring, sack mox up there, bring down actual mana, yeah. All right, so we got back an opal, which isn't great. 
Now we just play this, sack this trawler, get this back. You play around having a lot of stuff in play, so you can get the important stuff back if he targets them. You're talking about just like, just yeah. So I should have sacked another, I should have sacked another Mox Opal there. We're kind of Rick in here. This is an odd time to do this. Sack this. We need something to keep going here. This gets back Mox Opal. All right. Terrarian is Dece because we can recycle Terrarian with the Mind Stone. Scrap Trawler gets back Mox Opal. We drew an Ether Grid, which isn't great. We're not going to play the Ether Grid yet. We can even sack the Trawler if we want to, but I don't know. I don't really know if we want to do that. Trawler gets back Opal. All right, so we found an Inventor's Fair, which means we should be in shape to do something next turn. So I think I'm just going to play this. I don't really want to sack my Scrap Trawler. I could just run out all these explosives so that we can actually start like clocking our opponent with this uh, this ether grid. This might be loose, but we're doing it for time's sake. This is definitely like a time concession. Yeah, I feel I feel like every time that I want to sack the trawler, it's often wrong. Unless like I'm going to die, if I'm going to die, then I should sack the trawler. So I probably get back, go get mirror here, mirror retriever. Because like if I sack mirror retriever, then I get back scrap trawler, and I get back terrarian, which just makes so I can do much more next turn. And then, like, Scratch all keeps doing a bunch of things. The Karn is not good. That is not good for the home team. Karn probably gets back, hits this Scrap Trawler, or hits this um, KCI, which we have the Inventor's Fair to back up, which is an awful. Thoughtseize. Here's Karn. Yep, there's Carny Boy. This hits Ironworks. I'm going to sack the Ironworks in case we draw. Whoa. No way. Scrap Trawler gets back Icker Wellspring. That couldn't have been right to do. You leave me with the KCI and the mana to use my Inventor's Fair that you know about? That couldn't have been right to do. But, you know. So I think I'm going to get the Mirror Retriever here. Because... What are those most of the men? He said KCI, get back Retriever. Shoot the retriever with grid to get KCI. Oh, that makes sense. All 
Okay, so let's do this right here. Sack this, sack the, get this in play. He's tapped out, so we don't have to worry about this. So let's get sack here, sack here. Go get mirror retriever. Where are we? Where are you, little mirror retriever? Where the fuck's my mirror retriever? Where the heck is my mirror retriever? Mirror retriever, right here. If he wants the car in KCI. So we play this. Hit here. Sack this for mana. We can just play the Wellspring because it's free. Get something back. Now we probably should shoot my opponent here. With these. Scrap Trawler gets back. Terrarian. Draw here. So now we play this. And now I've got to think about how I do this. So you... You got this as a win. You are already a loop with two trawlers. So, to do this, I sack this. This gets back scrap trawler. This gets back sack this. This gets scrap trawler plus from this trigger, this trigger gets back. Terrarian after we sack Terrarian. If you sack Retriever, get back Trawler plus Mox. And then sack Trawler, get back Retriever. It's infinite mana. All right, so let me see if I can demonstrate this one to my opponent. Yeah, I've seen this one before. So you sack Retriever. Get back Trawler. This one gets back Mox. This one gets back Trawler. Cast this. Cast this. So this is infinite mana because sack this, get back Retriever, get back Retriever, get back Mox. Okay, so this is infinite mana which means a ping each time I'll demonstrate it. All right, so we sack this. Let's get rid of this thing here. So let's sack this. Sack this, get back mirror retriever, get back Mox Opal. Cast them both. Cast this. Ping. Same place we start. And then we go sack this. This gets back. Mox, this gets back Scrap Trawler. Play to Scrap Trawler. Play Scrap Trawler. Play this. Okay. Same place we were at, plus mana and a ping. Uh, will you concede to that? If he says no, then I'm just going to scoop the match. We'll just keep doing it here until my opponent does this. And if they don't, they don't. So we sack this. This gets back Mirror Retriever. This gets back Mox Opal. Sack this. 
sack this, play this, play this, hit this, all right, sack this, get back, this first one gets back Mox Opal, this gets back Scrap Trawler, and then we sack this, Play this, play this, ping you. Doesn't look like my opponent's going to concede, so I've had enough. That was game two. We won game one. Well, we, we didn't win game one. We won game one because we put on the infinite loop. And then uh, we won game one. We put on the loop. But I put the spell bomb on the bottom on accident and just didn't want to uh, didn't want to concede. Yeah, I think it would be impossible to like play it fast. Let's just open up our treasure chest and then play another league. Yeah, I, I goldfish a lot. Like like a couple nights ago, actually. Let me see how my lighting is look like. So I have a funny story. So I'm borrowing this deck, okay. And last night or a few nights ago, I was goldfishing, okay, and I was. I was goldfishing a lot to practice, okay? And I left the deck on the counter, and I kicked my dog out probably, I don't know, at like 5.30 in the morning. He got a hold of a couple of my friend's cards that, I was lo that he was loaning me. So I put an order in to TCG to get new ones made. Like he ended up getting, he ended up grabbing, no, he got an Icker Wellspring, uh, a Forest, a Terrarian, destroyed a Mind Stone, and he got a Grove. And like, I guess I can get the other two. He got, he like, got a hold of a Mox Opal, and like, the Mox Opal's damaged. I think it's sleeve playable still. You know, like, I'll have to like, check it out. But he got a hold of a Mox. It's like, slightly warped there. I don't think you can feel it in a new sleeve. Like, this sleeve is obviously got dog marks on it. And then he got just barely nicked and engineered explosives. But I called my friend and I was like, dude, I am so sorry. I will replace all of your cards. And I think I can play these. So I already planned on buying this deck. So I just got it. I already had the opals in the mail. So I just bought some more stuff for it. But let's jump into another league. I just want to keep practicing. I think I remember going Reservoirs this way when we're in grid. I think I want to play the grid in the main deck, though. Like, I think I can actually get a, like, isn't the grid actually good, though? What's the buy list price on that dog? I start with Reservoir, switch to a second spell bomb. Once I got the loops right, friend to Joe. Yeah. But, like, if I'm going to play against a lot of humans, isn't the grid just good to have in the deck? I think the spell bomb is the best. Second spell bomb is the best possible configuration. Okay, then maybe I'll do that. Spell bomb is better than grid versus humans. Really? I'm just trying to shuffle up the cards and see if I can find them or cut to them. I mean, I'm going to be able to see them because the sleeve is dent. 
Yeah, there's no difference. I can't feel them in the deck. Problem is, you need to know how to do the loop. The video link is very useful. I should like, let me click that. I'm just gonna click that and then put it, keep it in my browser here. Um, this hand is good, not great. I think I'm gonna keep this, but it's not, it's not ideal. All right, playing against a blood crypt deck. Oh, different kind of blood crypt deck. Playing against burn. Okay, burn's been picking up. There might be a lot of people who play this weekend. I've struggled against this deck. I haven't played against it very much, but I've had a hard time. Oh, this is like the Collins Mullen burn deck. The mirror plus one drop loops. Do you mean like the sack of card loop? I could just play EE on one. I kind of want to save this EE for two for an Eidolon, though. All right, well, there's the KCI. What seed are you sitting in this week? You're generally not beating Eidolon. Okay. I'm sitting on the A seat, I think. I'm not sitting in the middle. The sack, and that's the best loop, right? Like... Uh, I think I'm just going to e, e away this board here. So I could just play Mindstone and then look to go off next turn, but I don't know how reliable that is. It's probably right to just play the Mindstone no matter what and then play a star and just like tell him to kill me. I feel like Mardu we see a lot. I don't think there's any real reason it's good enough for paper and not doable. It's the easiest thing to loop, right? When you go to paper. I think that, like, I don't really think there's any ether grid. I don't think there's really any rhyme or reason to where people sit, to be honest. Like, I would argue that you should put your fastest player or your deck that plays the fastest in the middle. God, I could just like EE -E for one everything. So he suspended two Rift Bolts. So now I've got to think, is it better for me to engineer explosives for one or try to win? And is there a way for me to loop? It's pro I'm probably going to be able to loop something that makes mana. So I think I'm going to start to go off and then figure out if, it, if it's not working, then just EE -E for one the board. Time you're control player, they will be the better player. Yeah, I don't think that's true at all. X blue, X BYUX. Like, I think that you should you should put your fastest player in the middle so they can help the other ones. I don't think there's any I don't think there's any idea that a player that plays a certain deck makes them the better player. So I, I think I'm gonna play this explosives. No, I'm not. What am I gonna do here? I can play this explosives and make mana off of it. And then I think I might have gone, might have muffed this up, but let's just go like this. Make mana here. Make mana. Well, I think I, I think I might have muffed up here. All right, let's go like this. And now we're just gonna make, yeah, see now I've, I've like muffed myself. So let's make red mana. No, how do I do this? Cause now I need to figure out how to make mana and get this engineered explosives back in my hand. I need to figure out how to make colored mana and get this EE back. I think I might, I think I, I, think I screwed the pooch here. So sack star for mana, or stack star just to say neutral. And then I theoretically can sack the scrap trawler 
to get something back to give me enough mana to go EE -E plus pop it if I have to. So that's what we're gonna we're gonna do that here. We're gonna hope we don't have to do that. Scrap trawler gets back engineered explosives. Okay, so now we can make mana again. We don't have to do this. Because uh, we can just do that loop again. So do it for zero. Crack this. And now we can just divination. I have a star in my graveyard. Oh man, we're doing it. I just need to keep in mind that I have to be able to get that thing back. We're trying to keep playing these. Okay, that's probably... I think we're in pretty solid shape now. Oh, I should have sacked the Chromatic Star there. Alright, so mana's not going to be the issue. Well, we're going to do this right this time. Play this, sack this, sack this. Now it's just, now it's kind of trivial. Well, not trivial, like we need one more piece here. Scrap Trawler gets back Mox Opal. Always yield, always yield. Uh, we have another, let's just play this Opal, make another red mana. Sack this, play another star. Sack star, star gets back opal. Sack this, this gets back star. So now we're at least, we're either going to kill our opponent this turn or we're just not going to die. That's where we're at. And when, it, when this starts going south, we can just sack the KCI. Okay, so there's another Scrap Trawler. Two drop. Two drops give up one draw back. The card draw layaway is more or less. Yeah. So we get this. Now we sack it, get back Wellsprings. Get these Wellsprings back, cast Wellsprings. And we can just do all of this again. So we're going to basically draw our entire deck here. There's not like a... I don't think there's a loop here yet. There's just a lot of value gained. It's like, this is the awkward part where we're just fishing. Where, like, my opponent is dead. They just, you know, are going through the motions. And we're just going to do it right. Even if we time out, we time out. Here, like, I'm not super worried about it. I probably should have my second opal. Like, I should. Okay, so there's the mirror retriever. There's the star. Okay. So that's the loop for infinite mana and cards. I would appreciate it if you scooped to it, but you don't have to. I'll eventually find the spell bomb and then loop it. I'll play this just so that they can see it. Like, here's another win condition. Like, cast this. 
shoot this, shoot this, hold. And I'm going to do it like this because I this is like the best loop to do. And even if it's not good for Moto, I'm just going to do it now like this just because it's, it's like it's like how I'm going to do it this weekend at the Grand Prix. So I'm not really concerned that much about like timing out's gonna suck. But choose an artifact in the graveyard. Oh, uh, scrap trawler. Scrap trawler gets back two or less, gets back mirror retriever. Always yield. Okay. Play this. Play this. Play this. Shoot my opponent. Shoot my opponent. Announce a one. Pay for it. This gets back Scrap Trawler. Terrarian draws a card. Scrap Trawler gets back Chromatic Star. Scrap Trawler gets back Mirror Retriever. And there we go. Always yield. Woo! I think I just accidentally I cast my one drop, but whatever. I can just do it with anything. All right. What a guy. He just shaved off a little bit of my clock. The card draw on layaway is more or less frustrating aspect of the deck. From the other side, you're somewhat insulated from discard getting critical mass. Yeah, I would agree. Like this, like... Yeah, I have been doing that. Yeah, you have to be nice to your opponents. So I think here we just board in all eight of these. We cut these. Cut the spheres. Okay. My opponent was just eating and didn't want to like waste my time while they were eating, which is fine. So I could cut all of my Mind Stones, which I don't know how I feel about that because I kind of want to be fast. Like, but the Mind Stones are the worst things. I think my Bolts and my Nature's Claims are better than the Mind Stones. I could cut some number of EEs because they're clunky. I probably can cut the Ether Grid. Because like, I think in this matchup he would cut the Spell Bomb. Or at least he would use the spell on to kill something. And I can just shave some of these Mind Stones. And like, Mind Stones helps us be fast, but maybe I have to be interactive. Like, maybe it's right to keep the Mind Stones and cut the EEs. Because their deck's so fast, you're not, like, getting, like, super blowouts out of EEs. Maybe on the play, I'll switch that up. Cut my explosives and then bring in the, um... Cut the explosives and bring in the mind stones. I gotta go turn the light on. It's too dark. Okay. Yep, we're going to... I think we're going to keep... Oh, I don't know. You have Nature's Claim, which is, like, really solid. We do have an Ironworks. We don't have a lot else going on. I think I'm going to keep this because this is, like, a negate. And, like, we need the Ironworks to win. We've got a couple draw steps. This cycles. Like, I, if somebody told me this was a hand that was the Shin Mulligan, I would, I would buy that. 
Ooh, the bobble. Bobble given prowess. All right, so there's mirror retriever, which is not bad. Mirror retriever probably means that I'm going to sack this terrarian and then cast the mirror retriever next turn. Yeah, you can claim. Yep. Yeah. All right, well, we're going to claim that thing. I think I'm going to wait. I don't think I'm going to, like, sack this. Like, what I'm likely going to do next turn is I'm likely just going to go sack this, play Mirror Retriever, and then block with it so you can bring it back. And I think I'm going to want... This turn, I'm just guaranteed killing this Eidolon. Oh, they could borrow his charm to save it? Is that what you're saying? That would not be good. Yeah. Should have molly -whopped it. I'm totally going to get punished for that. They probably are sitting on... I mean, it's very reasonable to think that they could easily be sitting on borrow's charm. It's kind of cool how bottles in this deck. Spike me. You got it. Oh, that's so bad. Oh, that's not good. Oh, the spell bomb. Oh, that's gas. What could I hit with this? That would make me want to do this now. If I hit a mox. If I hit a Mox, I still don't want to cast the Mox beforehand. I think I'm just going to leave this Terrarian in play, and we're just going to smoke this Eidolon Ray Meow. We very much could die on our next turn. We probably actually should sack this, because we could hit, like, Ancient Stirrings. It makes our Ironworks turn worse next turn, but... All right, sacrifice. Now we just got to hope not to die here. Let's not die, Phil. I don't want to die, Phil. All right. That's that's close to dying. All right. The big problem here is that, like, even if I hit my land next turn, I'm going off from such a low base that it is going to be difficult to win. Oh, that's not good. Well, Mox Opal doesn't do anything for me right now. There's two lightning bolts within sweet. Four ironworks is not... Three ironworks in the draw, it's, it's, not, it's not exactly what we're looking for. I'd be very surprised if my opponent doesn't kill me now. Like Searing Blades plus, you know, plus anything. 
God, if my mirror retriever gets to be blocked, gets the block of such gas. We're definitely not out of, out of the realm of possibility that if next turn we could kill him. I think can, now the question is: Is it right to get back the pyrite spell bomb or the terrarium? Probably the terrarium. Yeah, I'm gonna get back the terrarium because if they have one burn spell, they can just counter the pyrite spell bomb, and I doubt we're gonna have time for any of that shit. Oh, that's not good. Why wouldn't you play that before combat so I couldn't get something back? They must have a burn spell in their hand. All right, now we're looking for engineered explosives. We're looking for engineered explosives, then to have absolutely nothing. I probably should have, you know... Okay, there's EE. EE on two doesn't do it, so I have to sack. This doesn't even make mana. I mean, it makes mana, but we don't draw cards. So I can go EE for one, kill this, but then I'm just not doing anything. Yeah, I'm just going to scoop it up for the next game. God, my lighting sucks tonight. Maybe that will help. Uh, I think we're just going to go with the same thing. I'm starting to think that may maybe the Karn is too cute also. No one wants to see your face anyhow. I appreciate your honesty. Because, like, I've only played against, like, Jund a couple times or, like, Death Shadow a couple times. And I feel like the Karn hasn't necessarily mattered. All right, we'll keep this hand. This hand's pretty good. I also missed all the talk about where people are supposed to sit. I don't know what here. Look back, see pitch this up. We have a few practice. Oh, we gotta land. Oh, that's sweet. Um let's stir. There's the ironworks. I probably should have thought about that more, to be honest. Because there's a chance, like, that taking an EE was also good. Because it just goes, like, land, rest in peace, and I'm in trouble. Or land, whatever it is, I'm in trouble. Yeah, I should have taken some more time to do that. I can still find a, a way to deal with that next turn because of the Inventor's Fair. But likely it's just too good to like pass up the ironworks because like there's definitely a chance that if without you know like if we're not disrupted here that ironworks is a kill this next turn. Oh, well, that'd be tough to do actually. We'd have to like sack a bunch of crap and then go get scrap trawler and then hopefully get start like looping some stuff. Icker Wellspring's nice. I oh, only got one land. That sucks. So here's like the million dollar question. Do we just get out ahead of a rest in peace? Or because we drew this wellspring, we just go for it? I probably shouldn't have played my land. I think because we drew this wellspring, we're going for it. Well, no, because I have to use so much mana in order to use that inventor's fair. I guess I don't if I just sack my citadels, but like that's kind of loose. So like 
Tap, 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 tap. Play this. Sack, sack, hit this. Then I go like sack, sack, play scrap trawler. Then I've just got this, this, and scrap trawler. This, this, ironworks plus scrap trawler in play. Play it and cycle star and play well. So you might just win. Yeah, I was just like thinking around. Which we might have to like, might not even have to do it that way. We are losing some value on like scrap trawler get backs here, which I don't necessarily hate, which I kind of hate, but like we could just go sack, sack, sack this, go get trawler. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I probably should have just got Trawler in the beginning. So now we go sack this, sack, no, we sack. It doesn't really matter. We can, we can just sack this. I'm going to sack my, I'm going to keep my twos around. Okay, so now we go here. This gets back Chromatic Star. Should it sacks this. So now we just get back Wellspring. So now everything's going to get a little harder. Oh, you'd have played Star first in order to have... That makes sense. Because if you played Star first, you just had more things in play with more Scrap Taller triggers, and now I don't get the Mox Opal. Yeah, you're right. You are 100% right. Yep, yeah, missed on a mox. So probably just keep, you know, I don't really want to keep going. Because, like, I'm not under any pressure. I kind of just want to bolt this goblin guide. And then, like, pass the turn. Because, like, we're in a good spot. So let me just, let's try this. All right, just kidding. This doesn't really matter which one I sacrifice. So let's go sack this, get back this. Let's get back the opal. Sack this wellspring. We're going to get back chromatic star. Sack this. Make mana. I should have kept sacking my ones before I sacked my twos. That would have been a better play. Like that would have just been... Overall cleaner. We hit a wellspring, which is gas. All right, wow. So let's play this. Float another red. Sack it. Play this. Yeah, we got a nature's claim, too. Oh, the nature's claim. Oh, no, Tom. Nature's claim. Oh no, Nature's Claims in Affinity. I did too. Or right, in fact, Sideboard. We're going to have to think about this again. All right, let me, I'm going to keep going here. We can figure that out in a second. Get Mox Opal. Mox Opal. And Bolt. Oh, we can't play this deck. Unless you play Humans, we can't. All right, we'll figure that out in a second. Let me just keep going here. Oh no! Let's get this star back. 
play this. You can replace both with Gal Blasts. Okay, that's legit too. So let's just go. We're pretty much kind of fizzled out here, which isn't good. Let's get this back. Like we can just sack the Opal if we want to. At this point, we can sack the Scrap Trawler and get back the Wellspring. Which I kind of don't want to do, actually. Like, I kind of actually just want to, like, bolt this. And then just, like, pass the turn. Yeah, whatever. We're good. Undecided, but one of the options, yes. We're just going to ditch this. Yeah, we'll have to think about that. I didn't even think about it. I've been so focused on, like, trying to figure out the deck that I didn't even... I didn't even think about, like, oh, yes, you these cards in here. All right. We are not blocking. Or should I block to trade with this thing? Trade with this, get back Wellspring. That's probably what I'm going to do next turn, to be honest, so I might as well just do this. Get this thing off the board. But then I, I'm down mana, so no, I'm not going to do this. So we could just bury ruin this back. But if we go like this, sack this, get back Wellspring. Oh, then I can't even do this. No, I go like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're good, we're good, we're good. I'm all over the place now. Now I'm thinking. Now I got all kinds of stuff on the brain. Hey, what are you doing, Phil? Uh, let's get back the opal. All right, there's Mirror Retriever. That's gas. So now we can sack the Mirror Retriever. Get back. Get back. Where's the... This one gets back Chromatic Star. This one gets back Wellspring. And now we're actually going up the chain, which is pretty nice. Your third deck, yeah. I don't, it's not a loop. I don't. I don't think it is, Teddy. We're probably gonna time out of this one, to be honest. Unless my opponent like scoops to the loop again. So we've got another chromatic star. So we can. We should actually be sacking our ones first. Get back trawler. What do you mean the trawler was the second loop there? Because, like, what are you doing, Phil? So, like, Scrap Trawler. You're talking about Icker Sack when we sacked Mirror Retriever. Get back Scrap Trawler. Retriever gets back Trawler plus Spell Bomb. I didn't have a second trawler in my board, did I? Or I just didn't even see it. I was worried about what's going on in the chat there and then missed it if there was if there was a scrap trawler, which is right here. I'm looking at it. So I did miss a loop. The scrap trawler plus mirror retriever plus that's the loop that we did last game. So now we just gotta keep digging. And we're likely gonna time out of this one, but. But such is life. This gets back Mox Opal. Float mana with Mox Opal. Sack this. Play this. 
No, we're probably we're not gonna do it yet. We should remember the starting point: trawler plus retriever. Yeah. I'm just looking to find it now. Like we we can keep doing this. Like we might as well do it right. We're gonna time out, but like that's okay. So this goes here. We just keep looping all of our one mana spells. Here until we find like just something. So we play the opal again. Like this is how, this is how we're gonna do it. Like go here, get this. Sack this, get back Opal. Terrarian draws a card. All right, we're out of ones. So now we sack the Wellspring. Wellspring gets back Chromatic Star. We hit another Wellspring. What do we hit with this now? There's an EE. So now we just keep sacking our ones. I mean, this isn't, this isn't like a loop, though. Like, I likely can draw my entire deck, but, like, I can't demonstrate a loop, right? Oh, there it is. Because, like, now Ironworks... Ironworks gets back... Ironworks gets back Retriever. Retriever gets back... We sack Retriever. So, all right. So we timed out, but what's the loop here? So now that we hit the Ironworks, all right, come on, Moto, don't do this to me. So now that we hit the Ironworks, okay, sack this, we get back Mirror Retriever, sack Mirror Retriever, we then get back Pyrite Spell Bomb, and then we get back Scrap Trawler, then we shoot them, sack Scrap Trawler, or we shoot, no, so we sack the Mirror Retriever. Mirror Retriever gets back Scrap Trawler plus Pyrite Spell Bomb. We then shoot them, get a Mox back. Then we sack a Scrap Trawler, get back Mirror Retriever, get back Pyrite Spell Bomb, shoot them, sack Mirror Retriever, get back. Yeah, that's the loop. Okay, got it. Yeah. Yep, so that's how we would have done it there. So we won, we theoretically won this game twice. <laughs> so it's good to know. All right, so let's get out of this. No, it doesn't start tomorrow. It starts on uh, Saturday. Well, Moto tweaked out here. I'm going to restart Moto. Just give me one second. Moto's like completely frozen in time. Actually, no, it's good now. Yeah, and that's the problem. Like, you know, like we played, we played two matches today. We played what, four matches so far? Yeah, we played four matches today. I think we won all four if we could have presented loops in all four of them. I can't exactly remember. But we're going to jump back into it for another one. So you're saying, like, these probably easily could be Gal Blasts and we wouldn't miss a beat? Gal Blasts? They're Gal Blasts? We have, we have props in the mirror. Just playing Emrakul. Yeah, I mean, I could play the Emrakul. Well, I'm not going to play the Emrakul in paper, though, because, like, in each one of these games, I'm just like, do 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 And now I won't miss the Scratch Hall one because I've seen it also. Did he play? I mean, he probably played the Emrakul for Moto reasons, right? I mean, I don't know if he'd play the Emrakul in paper. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, this hand's okay. We're going to keep this. 
Because it's got a lot of mana, it's got a way to find a KCI, and it's got some recursion. This hand's really good against like a grindy deck. Probably not an abundant growth deck, though. Like if I was gonna think of decks that this hand would be good against, like abundant growth would not be one of them. Should have played my Yabamaya Ghost, I think, just to protect it. So you think the sec so then do you board the ether grid? Yeah, I saw him. I saw him do that. I saw his videos. My opponent has a lot of mana. What is going on here? Huh. Huh. Alright, that's kind of sweet. Then let's just go bing. Bing. I actually think it's probably better to Ancient Stirrings over playing the Retriever. Scrap Trawler. I probably want the Scrap Trawler. I don't know if I want the Scrap Trawler if I don't have an Ironworks, though. But I'm going to want the Scrap Trawler because I'm going to be able to get the Ironworks pretty soon. Because, like, next turn we can just play a land. One, two, three, four, and we can just sit on this Inventor's Fair. Yeah. We are playing against actual factual enchantress. So now we just pass, we get ironworks, and then we've got it next turn. Let me just yield until my next end step. Go get the Iron Boy. And then we've got it. I mean, I, I guess we don't actually have... I guess we kind of... Well, is it actually a kill? Because, like, we leave the Mind Stone up. We sack Chromatic Star. We then play Scrap Trawler, play Mirror Retriever. Yeah, we'll figure it out. I'm fairly certain it is. We're going to leave the Mind Stone untapped. Okay. All right, so we're going to sack our Opal. And then we can sack the star, because we're going to get the star back easy enough. I'm just trying to think about how to do this the best while playing around Path to Exile. But I guess we can just do that. We just go play this. Sacrifice this, get back Chromatic Star. Oh shoot, I'm out of mana. Ruh row. Play my land. Actually, we're good, because we'll just go like this, sack this. No, we're not necessarily good. This gets back this. We play this, always yield, and now we just like go back up the chain. Sack this. Hang on, make mana. Here. I gotta fix my mess up. So make mana here. Always yield. All right, we can just hit another scrap child. But my plan was to play mirror retriever. Sack mirror retriever. Get back. Scrap Trawler, and then go from there. 
but it turns out we didn't need to do that. So let me think of the best way to do this. Sack this, play this, sack this, that gets back Mox Opal, and mana is no longer an issue. Okay, so now we just go like this, sack this thing. Play just Mind Stone. Then, last point. How you doing, Cody? Okay, so again, how we do this? We hold priority. We cast this using the ironworks and this is the easiest loop like this is both the easiest I think and it's the best loop so mirror retriever we actually can't draw our entire deck yet no we can we will be able to so mirror retriever gets back scrap trawler and then they scoop it out so that's nice of them to do that so against Path to Exile, I don't really know what my, what my opponent's doing. I'm not that much of an asshole. So I kind of probably want these Nature's Claims, or it might just be better to, like, nah, because they're going to bring in, like, Stony Silence and Rest in Peace. So we just cut, like, the normal, normal ones for those four, and I think we should submit. I don't think it's the easiest. I think it's actually the hardest one. Well, it's, isn't it the best loop? Isn't it like the the easiest loop to achieve? I feel like it's always... So I'm not too incentivized to watch KCI. I understand, Archmage. Isn't it the easiest loop to replicate? Like, you just sit... Because, like, all you need is an Ironworks, a trap, a Scrap Trawler, and you need Mirror Retriever, and then you need a 1 in play or something to sacrifice in play than another one. That one's just like the easiest and you it's like much more difficult to disrupt. That his hand sucks. This hand's not great, but I'm gonna keep it. We're gonna put that on the bottom. They have a ley line. Did not think that we're gonna see that ley line from them. Yeah, green white enchantments. That was a pretty nice draw. Oh, I guess I get wrecked here by Stony Silence, which I didn't think about. Oh, yeah, Stony Silence would be so bad. Rest in peace is whatever. How you doing there, Tim? Abundant growth. Ooh. I don't really want to. I don't really want. I kind of want to E for one, but I also like don't want to get rid of all my stuff. So I think we're just going to wait here. Blow this up at the end of their turn. Can't wait to play Hedron Crab again in modern. Tim, you don't have to lie. We're playing Ironworks. You don't have to lie to me, Tim. Get rid of this. Bang. Always yield. Is equally difficult to disrupt. Needs two one drops. You talk about the the other loop is the one that we we did right there. Earlier today. Not earlier today, just barely. Um. I guess we can go fishing a little bit here. All right, mine sounds a decent hit. And then we're just going to make our land drop. 
And then I think we're going to pass, and then we're going to go get a KCI next turn. Oh, baby. So let's not muff this up again. So let's go just like this. Mm hmm. So if we go sack here, I don't want to run out of all my lands again. This is a, we can Lotus Petal this, which is nice. But if we go sack this, sack this, go get here, go get Scrap Dad. Um, we can Lotus Petal here, tap this. We don't get to draw a card, which is kind of annoying, but I think it's I think we're gonna be okay. We have quite a bit in the graveyard to work with. So let's sack this first. This returns. I guess we don't even have that much to work with, actually, because this doesn't draw a card. But it gets back. Oh, I guess it gets back um, Chromatic Star. So we can, we can draw like, a couple cards here. Something loose to your opponent. Hopefully. Yeah. Okay, that's not bad. So what does that do? We sack this. Sack this, get back a one. We can sack this, then sack the KCI, and then get back this mock, this Mindstone, which I'm kind of into. But we don't have to do that yet. Chromatic Star. Yeah. I bet it would work for some some portion of the time. Sack this. Sack this. This gets back Mox Opal. I guess I also could just loop back an Engineer Explosives at some point to like blow both of these up. This gets back. Mindstone. Um, I've I've got the claim. I just don't have a loop yet. So this gets back Mindstone. Play Mindstone. Now we get to actually get a little bit of velocity. Draw a card. This gets back Chromatic Star. All right, we got the Icker, the old Icker Wellspring. So let's sack this, play this. Now we're just like looking for basically a Mirror Retriever at this point. This gets back. I guess we can get a box open back one more time. We only have to get, that's nice. We only have to get the uh, the engineer explosives if we're like done. Scrap trawler gets back chromatic star. Play this. Might as well just make red. Sack here. Play this. We just keep going. Yeah, Terrarium is just another one. Click that. Play this. All right, so now we hit another E, but we're not super worried about that. I guess I could just like pop this somewhere 
within to like just do it. But it's nice to not have to worry about it as well. So we're looking for, again, just a mirror retriever. Another KCI would be sweet because that lets us like start back up the curve. You're like, we're basically going to draw our whole deck here. But the game is pretty. No, we shouldn't do this. I should play this KCI. We've got a. We actually don't. Do we have a wellspring in here? Oh, huh, we don't have a wellspring. All right, let's get the wellspring in the graveyard and sack the KCI to get the wellspring back. Get back Chromatic Star. All right, Inventor's Fair, but we already made a land drop. Sack this. Get back the Wellspring. Let's keep playing our low ones, because that's technically the right thing to do. Make green mana. Sack this. Sack this. All right, so we hit Pyrite Spellbomb, which doesn't really matter yet. But we do have to Wellspring now. Ooh, we're running out. Chromatic Star. Always yield. Ruh row Raggy. So I still have the Engineer Explosive. So we know what we need to do before the end of our turn. We have to remember to blow up my opponent's two Utopias for all things. These both cost one, right? Yeah. All right. We've officially fizzled. So I guess we can do the spell. We can loop a spell bomb. So let's just do that. We haven't officially fizzled yet, but well, hang on. I should just hit this. Use a red. This gets back Mox Opal. Oh, I guess that no, you didn't draw. A, I didn't draw a card with it. Which I guess I did draw a card with it. You get to draw a card. Huh. You draw a card even if you hit the red. I guess that's good to know, but I didn't think that's how that worked. So kind of an anticlimactic finish. We could keep going by sacking the scrap trawler, but I just I don't think that that's worth doing, especially when we have another thing next turn. So that was sad. But again, we like you know, drew have drew like 15 cards. That's bad. Did I? That's not good, though. This right here is no bueno. I guess we can just look for an EE, like with this Inventor's Fair. We'll do that next turn. I don't want to sack anything. We're not under any pressure. I don't have a you I don't have a defense grid now. Oh, an ether grid? Yeah, I have an ether grid. We're still good here. We'll just sack this at the end of the turn, go get an engineered explosives, and then blow this uh, blow my opponent's rest in peace up. Oh yeah, because it got exiled. Yeah. Holy shit. Put it on your library. Ever for the rest of the game, you can cast spells at the beginning of your upkeep. It will spell the epic ability. All right. I think this means we're dead. So.
Stony silence probably means we're dead. Yeah, we're going to go to the next game. I could hit like a, I could rip something there to, to keep us out of that, but. Draw a card. I had a wellspring coming. I think we're just going to submit. Maybe, I mean, maybe it's worth it to play negates. Negate seems kind of loose. Yeah, I think we're just gonna we're gonna go with it. I appreciate everybody hanging out tonight. It's been a little bit of a different stream, not necessarily super, a little less to the average magic person, a little less uh, inviting, I guess. But I appreciate you all for hanging out. Or uh, ship this. Did you hit Stony? Okay. Uh, we're going to keep this hand. We're going to hope to scry a. That's pretty much like another. Nah, we're going to put this on the bottom. It's the same thing. We're just redrawing. The only thing that would punish us is if we drew into a. Um, maybe I should have brought in Psy also. Oh, I just skipped through my turn, just not even, like, talking here. Oh, my gosh. Oh, we hit a Nature's Claim, which is great. Oh, I'm all over the place tonight. Resident Sleep Stream. They don't know that the white ley line is completely useless. Is that because you just find a way to deal with all the like, worst comes the worst, I'll just EE for four. I do see how once you get going, it's no good. Yeah. I think Mario Pyramex is fine. I, think I just want to play another one of these. Just like keep hitting effective land drops and we get the option. At least I'll spell bomb. So it only shoots them if you have infinite mana and infinite cards, so it's exactly useless. That's kind of funny. Worship. Worship's also kind of useless, right? All right, Terrarian. So we can just play the Ironworks, play Terrarian, and look to kind of like go nuts a little bit. Nice, another four mana enchantment. Yeah, like this one's no good as well. I guess we go digging a little bit. I wouldn't mind making colored mana to be able to blow these up, knowing that like I'll eventually be able to deal with these. Yeah, but I don't have a way to make colored mana, Teddy. I think every non rips a card in their deck is useless, to be fair, yeah. Always yield. All right, we hit a claim. So we're just playing Scrappy. And then we can sack this to bring back Terrarian. Or we can just kind of chill. If we bring back Terrarian and play it this turn, then we're guaranteed to be able to EE their board away. Next turn, not necessarily guaranteed. We'd have to sack some. We might have to sack some artifacts. I kind of just want to wait. Like 
They have five mana next turn. We're not really in any hurry. E for zero, bring back Terrarian, bring back E. Oh, the Scrap Trawler. Hell no, right? E for zero. E for zero, bring back Terrarian. Oh, I see what you're saying. I guess we're not losing very much by doing that. Yeah, you're right. Sack this, get this back, play this for zero. Sack this for mana. Play this. Sack this. We might hit a color a way to make colored mana. It's kind of interesting. So now we just kind of go scrap trawler, sack. <laughs> hey, Philly. No. Hey, Philly, come. Come here, bud. He heard somebody in the hallway. So now we just go like this. Get back both mine stones. We can even lotus pedal our engineer explosive menu too. Yeah. So, like, play this. And we get to do all of this again, also, which is sweet. We should remember, like, Lotus Petal out our engineered explosives. We had another trawler. Which is gas. And then we just keep on keeping on. Wow, this deck is really chewing you up and spitting you out. I don't know what you mean, Grant. I don't know what you mean. Hang on. Get this back. So we can play this. We can actually just like sack this for mana. But we're we're gonna time out, but that's okay. Dude, yeah, Philly did for sure. What's the best way to do this? To just keep going. I can play another scrap trawler. Play this. Sack a scrap trawler. Get back two more mine stones. Like we're basically gonna draw our entire deck here. Uh, what am I doing? Oh, this goes here. Yeah. So we basically just draw our whole deck. I'm pretty much here. If you have only one zero mana card in the yard, you sacrifice your one drop and you click on the one drop. Automatically. Right, yeah. I'm not really worried about like. I don't know. I'm not super worried about Moto doing it or doing it right on Moto. I just want to do it right here. Mox Opal. We got the Pyrite Spell Bomb. So how do I loop the Spell Bomb? I can't loop it yet. I also, because he's got the Warships and shit. So we sack this. No, we don't. Not yet. We... So it's actually, no, it's actually right to sack this. To go here, play this, draw a card, get this back, always yield. Okay, so there's another KCI. I feel like we would win, we were, we'd be pretty much all set in this game if we had time to do it. Sack this, get back, Terrarian, play this, I don't want to play the Terrarian with any colored mana, red sack here, 
play this, sack this, get back the old bowl. So we could just go like sack, we can do we can sack ironworks, get back scrap trawler, and then just go nuts pretty much. Not really sure I want to keep doing that. If you want to do it right in paper, sack zeros before ones, before twos. Learn the twos loop and you're good to go. Yeah. I mean, I'm fairly certain we kill our opponent here, which is kind of like the annoying part of Moto. Because, like, you know, we just... We go here. We probably should just... At this point, we should probably just sack this to get two ironworks, to get two scrap trawlers into play. Get our two scrappy boys. Sack these, we get two ones. We get Terrarian, get Pyrite Spellbomb. There's Mirror Retriever. So let's go like this. Get this Mox Opal. Get this Engineered Explosives. Now we play this. We play this. And now let's just, let's just, let me just blow this stupid thing up here. Let me blow this stupid thing up here so that I can do the loop once. Sack this. Play this. Shoot you. Always yield. Gets back Mox Opal. So then from here, we go... Sack scrap trawl. We go here. Make red mana. Sack this. We then sack scrap trawler. Get back pyrite spell bomb. Get back mox opal. Play mox opal. Sack mox opal. Do this. Shoot my opponent for two. Get Mox Opal back. Sack this. This gets back Pyrite Spell Bomb. This gets back Scrap Trawler. And that's the loop. All right. Good games. It's been way more than a year there, Jimbo. I've been, I guess I've been streaming on and off since August of 2016. That's what I do every game. Yeah. Nice. All right. I think I'm going to call it for the...